Are you one of the musicians that's currently using the oversaturated hashtags on Instagram? Don't worry, I got you covered in this video. So I get this concern and question all the time in my Smart Launch Club. Why am I not getting any visibility on the hashtags that I'm using? This is actually a very common problem that most musicians are facing right now. So you're not alone. If you want to know what hashtags are, I have a pretty detailed video of hashtags and how you should use them as a musician. Check that out. But if you don't have time to go through that video, I'm going to give you a brief overview. So hashtags is a way for, first of all, you to tell Instagram who you are and what type of content that you share. So it's a way for you to mark your content. So Instagram will know who they can show it to, in turn, driving new traffic onto your Instagram account. One, it's a way to mark your content. Two, it'll get you traffic if used the right way. So there's no real answer to this, but try testing anything from nine to 30 and see what works for your account. So you can either put them in the caption or in the comments. If you want to keep your caption clean, put them in the comments. If you don't mind, just put them in the caption. So let's say you're a music producer and you would go and you probably would choose something hashtag music producer, right? Well, so does every single music producer out there, which means that it's really oversaturated hashtag. You're never going to rank on this unless you're a really big account. So what we need to do now is niche it down further, but also find the right hashtag that you can compete in. So in my agency, we decided to use the seven day free trial of an app called Flick. And we've loved it so much, so we've continued to use it for all of our clients. The reason it's such a great tool is that you can first of all find the relevant hashtags, save them and organize them, and get recommendations of other relevant hashtags. Let's take a look. So we're gonna open up a tool called Flick, and I'm gonna link to the tool in the caption. So go check out their free seven day trial. Otherwise, the price is this per month. So let's take the example with a music producer, which is an oversaturated hashtag that everyone is using. Let me show you why I know that. So I type in music producer and what Flick is going to give me. So I'm going to go first in the grouped view to see here all the relevant hashtags that Flick is giving me that's relevant to the hashtag music producer. So where is music producer? Well, it's right here. I can find it in the high competition, which means a lot of people are using it. Flick is also giving me is other relevant hashtags that are of medium competition and lower competition that might be better for a smaller account. Let's choose a few of them that might be relevant. Female music producer we could use. Let's say you are a female music producer, music producers life. So I'm going to select a few of them that is relevant to the post that you're going to post. And then I'm going to go into the table view. So what this gives you is all the metrics that we need behind that hashtag. So when I go and choose a relevant hashtag, you see music producer, it's very high competition, but you get a lot of, a lot of high views as well, but there's 9,000 posts being posted every day. So good luck ranking on that one. So let's find some other ones, right? That we selected. So we will go down to find, so we music producer life, uh, the competition, as you see here is fairly high and it has a high reach as well, but it only has 71 posts per day. So that could be a good one. Let's see what else. Oh, I found one here, music producer lifestyle. So this is a good one. You see here, the competition score is fairly low. So if you're a new account, this could be an option for you, but the potential reach here is medium, which means that people are going on to this hashtag and only 11 posts are being posted every day. And it has the potential to get a lot of likes. So it has a lot of engagement, this hashtag. So definitely that one is a good one. So we found a hashtag that is good for a small account. So let's look further into this hashtag. So you can then click the magnifying glass and it will open up a new tab with this specific hashtag. So I'm going to go back to group view. So this opens up more relevant hashtags that's relevant to that specific one that you choose. So you then start selecting relevant hashtags that is relevant for you and the content that you share. So start collecting and start searching more and more. You can have several tabs here. As you see here, I'd start nine selected, unsigned producer, unsigned, click the ones that are relevant. So once you've selected all of your hashtags, you click on this one, click save to collection. I have a few ones there already. Then new collection, name this music producer because they were all relevant to you as a music producer then create. There you go. There you have all of the hashtags that we selected in grouped together in a little bank for you. 
So you'll start having these banks and collections of hashtags that are relevant for you. And since we just made this one, we don't have any suggestions already. So I'm going to go into an old one that I created, new music release, where you see already 16 suggested hashtags. So click on that and then go through what they're suggesting. If there's any relevant, just click select, 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 whatever's relevant and then exit out. And then they're there in the collection that you've already created. So you might be one of those musicians that using the same hashtags on every single post that you share. Well, you know, you might actually get shadow buying by this because it's repetitive behavior that Instagram doesn't like. So you need to switch up your hashtags for every time that you post. So when it's time to post, you probably have a nice collection on the side here with relevant hashtags for you that you want to test out. So for this purpose, let's say we're posting about new music. I have a collection with a new music release. And what I like to use is the Flix randomizer tools, which you can find here, where you can then select 10 or 30 random hashtags in that that Flick is suggesting. Copy and head over to your business suite or whatever scheduling tool that you use. If you use your phone, just send them over to your phone and you're good to go. So there we have it, a much smarter way to find better hashtags for your content that will give you visibility. So if you want to sign up for Flick, what you need to do when you sign up is connect your Instagram account. So what Flick will then do is analyze how your content and your hashtags will perform. And it will then give you recommendations of relevant hashtags for you. But I'm not going to go further into that. But if you want me to in another video, let me know in the comments and I'll gladly give you a full tutorial of Flick and how we use it in the Smart Music Agency. There you have it. Find some relevant hashtags for your content and I'll see you next week.